morning guys! I was invited on a trip to Otsu City by the city today and I'm super excited to be here because it's my first time but we have so many cool things planned out and I'm really excited to take you guys along so let's get started. We're gonna rent some bicycles. I've got electric bikes over here which are good if we get kind of tired and I've got some other bikes over here without a motor. Hmm. They have all the important information in English, so if you don't speak Japanese, don't worry too much. This place is really convenient for English speakers. <laughs> it looks so pretty! I'm so excited! So this is where we are right now, Otsu Eki, and our first stop is going to be this cafe right here for lunch right on the coast of the lake. I cannot wait. We've made it to the edge of the lake. It's so big, it looks like the ocean. It smells like the ocean too. I feel like I'm on a beach. The weather is so nice. I was so lucky. It was actually supposed to rain today and I think it might later a little bit, but right now it's perfect. It's cloudy. It's not a million degrees. I'm happy. Let's go! So for lunch they have lots of options and there's a couple of vegan options here. This looks like a, a whole set with a whole bunch of different things to try. Vegan cake! I don't know what to start with. <laughs> so many! Nasu karaiko. Mmm, it's so good. This is delicious. The vegetables taste so fresh. This is a brand new vegetable for me. I've never seen it before. It's called a shikaku mame square bean. It's a bean. It looks like a sea creature. It's crunchy and it kind of tastes like a green bean, but it's a little more, it's got a little more moisture to it. It's not as dry. All right, we're already off to our next location. I'm going to be going to Omi Jingu, which is a Shinto shrine, and I'm going to be doing something really fun there. I'm going to be wearing a special type of kimono. It's one of the super fancy ones with lots and lots of layers. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. This place is so pretty. The weather is holding up. It hasn't started raining yet. It was supposed to start right about now, but the sky's still looking slightly cloudy. Not overly bad, so I think I was pretty lucky. So this is the type of kimono I'll be wearing. It's called Juni 12 Hitoe. 12 layered ceremonial kimono. Konnichiwa. Look at all the kimono. Ah, the anime. So a movie was filmed at this shrine and this is the outfit that one of the characters wore. あの、あの、どれしていただいても全部着ていただいてもいいし、あの、手をね、あの、通すだけなので、ああ、ちょっと、そうそうそう、あの、通すとこさえ間違えないで。うん、お、ジャビンだね。そんな感じなんで、髪
このエリのとこにも皆さんつけてクリップでこんな風にちょっとこう<笑>ここだけ黒<笑> So I was told that I can choose whichever kimono I want This one's really pretty So hard to choose I really like this gold one This is really pretty I think I might choose this one All right, I'm gonna attempt attempt to sit down and pose my kimono so that it looks nice. Well, that was awesome. I really like how they just kind of leave you to it and you can try on whatever kimonos you like. If you brought your own checky, you could take as many photos as you like too. And it only costs ten dollars. It's one thousand yen and you get one of the instant photographs included with that. So these are really tiny kimonos. These are for three-year-olds. In Japan, they celebrate when you become three years, five years and seven years. So they have all the kimono you would need for that here. Wow, they have everything here. We've arrived at our hotel. We're gonna get a quick little tour of the inside now. Wow, it's nice in here. So they have an Italian restaurant. It smells great, I'm getting hungry. And they also have a Japanese restaurant. This is where I will be eating tonight. So look forward to see what kind of food they have prepared for me. They also have a swimming pool, but it's closed because summer is almost over. But if you come in the summer, you can swim and have an amazing view of Biwa Lake right beside you. There's a souvenir shop inside the hotel too. So if you want to grab some souvenirs for your family. Apparently this is a fancy mochi. It looks like it would be really soft. Their rice is famous too. So their rice is probably used in all these mochi products here. Tea is famous in this region as well. So there's lots of kinds of green tea here. These little fish, fish sweets are so cute. Biwa Lake Cider. Time to check out my room. I'm so excited. Wow. <laughs> Here is the shower room. There's a whole room for showering. You can get this whole area wet. That's awesome. Sink area. Got some shampoo and stuff. And the bedroom area is so pretty. I love the blue ocean theme. So I picked up some of the famous mochi at the gift shop. Couldn't pass that up because they looked really soft and delicious. So let's give them a try. It looks like this. They kind of look like dango. They're on sticks and then lots of what I think is matcha powder. Not pure matcha, obviously that would be intense. But matcha flavored kinako maybe? Mm-hmm. There's matcha flavor. They're just as soft as I imagined they would be. Wow. I can see why this is famous. This is some of the best mochi I've ever had. Mm. It's so soft. It melts in your mouth. You guys will love this. All right, it's almost dinner time, so I think I'm gonna head downstairs to the restaurant that I showed you earlier, Omi, the Japanese-style restaurant, and they have prepared a special vegan dinner for me. They've already brought out one of my favorite dishes, which is yuba, it's tofu skin. You dip it in wasabi and soy sauce, it's delicious. Fig, that's really interesting. I don't think I've ever had a fig before. It reminds me a lot of sashimi. The tofu itself doesn't have much flavor, so you really get the taste of the soy sauce and the wasabi. Kind of like a vegetarian sashimi. All right, let's give this fig with sesame dressing a try. 
is my first time eating fresh fig. It's so sweet. Mmm. It's really sweet and juicy. It melts in your mouth. In here we have. Ta da! A beautiful cup of seaweed. Very gooey seaweed. It's apparently really good for you. Mmm. Tastes delicious. Got a vinegar flavor to it. Okay, they just gave me the fanciest salad I've ever seen in my life. So it's full of different superfoods like goji berries, quinoa, a bunch of different other vegetables. And man, I can make my own dressing here however I like. We've got olive oil, salt, and lemon. That's delicious. That's so good. I can't go back to regular salad. So this one is a wheat gluten. Uh, apparently it's really chewy and there's a miso sauce on top. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> it's like a soft mochi. Kind of like buckwheat and flour mix. A little bit of an earthy flavor. Mostly you just taste the flavor of the sauce. Next we have the Akka cognac that we saw in the gift shop. The texture is so super squishy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like eating an eyeball. <laughs> yeah, it's got a slight smoky taste to it, but basically it's just like regular cognac. Not much flavor, so you just enjoy the flavor of the sauce that they put with it. Do you see this? There's no gap. They carved it like this. Cool. That's awesome. Matsutake are a really expensive mushroom. You don't get to eat them very often, so. Really excited about that. And I don't think I've ever had tempura with matcha shio before, so that'll be new. All right, I'm gonna try the matsutake with just plain, plain rock salt. So good. They're so flavorful. Wow. You don't even need to put anything on it because it has such like an earthy flavor already. This is a vegetable nabe made with soy milk. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. I love how they cook it at your table in these cute little pots. My nabe is all ready to eat. It smells really, really good. And they give you fresh ginger to add into it, which is just the perfect combination with the soy milk. I love this. I'm gonna try making this at home. Not sure exactly what they put in it. I'm assuming some kind of vegetable base, broth, and then the soy milk and maybe, yeah, I, I feel like that's all you need. And then add a little bit of fresh ginger. It's so like refreshing. It's such a great flavor that goes with all the different vegetables and great with the tofu. But for dessert, we have some fresh pears. Look at how delicate that is. It's so pretty on a bed of ice to keep them nice and crispy. I'm back in my hotel room now and enjoying my comfy bathrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed day one of my trip. I'll see you again in my next video for day two. We're gonna be visiting a temple and doing some interesting stuff there. And we're gonna be trying shojin yori, which is like the food that monks eat, which is vegan, so awesome. And we're gonna be doing some of the cool stuff, so I hope you guys join me for that. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!